since I've been here in South Korea, I've been uh, training in judo. Uh, my background is in judo predominantly. And uh, I've been here about a year, and I've been at this school. It's been a great time, uh, top-notch instruction, uh, great atmosphere, met a lot of great people there. But since I've been here, I've also been looking for a Brazilian jiu-jitsu school uh, to continue my training in that sport. Now, Brazilian jiu-jitsu and judo are very akin. Uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu focuses on the ground fighting game uh, more than judo. Um, ironically, in a city as large as Busan, three and a half million people, there is one Brazilian jiu-jitsu school in the city that anybody knows about. Um, Brazilian jiu-jitsu is not really widespread in Korea yet. There's a, a number of places in Seoul, but um, like I said, only one here. Um, however, recently there was a, a UFC. Uh, I think it was 148. It was where Anderson Silva was fighting Chael Sonnen or Kale Sonnen uh, rematch. And on that card is a guy from South Korea. His name is Dong Hyun Kim, I think. And uh, so I'm perusing the internet and I find out that he fights out of, uh, fights out of Busan. So I kept looking, kept looking, and uh, where he trains is about maybe 15 minutes from me, very short um, uh, subway ride. And this guy, is a, his background is mostly in judo. He's a 4'3 black belt in judo. He trained at Yongin University, which is Korea's national judo university. So that's where all the top talent comes out of. So he's a, he's a pretty spectacular uh, athlete. Well, the name of this uh, place that he trains out of is called Team Mad. And it's actually affiliated with the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu school that's here. Uh, it just is the mixed martial arts part of that organization. And they teach Muay Thai and no gi Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And uh, so I went and checked it out. Uh, it's a small place. It's very, ar I don't want to say archaic, but it's there's no frills there. It's uh, kind of dungeony. It's in the basement of a building, no windows, no air conditioning. They got about three or four Muay Thai bags hanging up. It's probably 800 square feet, if that. Um, but it's great energy there. A lot of guys there walking around with uh, major cauliflower here, which is always a, which is a good sign, I guess, uh, if you're looking for this type of thing. So I went in there, had a great class. Um, and I joined. So I'm going to be there for a little while. I'm going to take a hiatus from judo, but I'm really looking forward to improving the uh, the no gi part of my uh, of my grappling game. It's also kind of funny because at that school there's also a girl who's from America. She's an English teacher doing the same thing that I do, and she's got long blonde hair, and she just sticks out like a sore thumb. Uh, Busan is is not quite as international as as Seoul. And where this is located is definitely like in the heart of Busan, so she really sticks out. It's kind of it's kind of funny. She's a really, really, really nice girl. She was also a uh, high school wrestling champion, national champion. She wrestled with the guys and everything. So she's quite an athlete. She maybe she'll be the uh, next Ronda Rousey or something like that. Uh, I hate to say that because Ronda Rousey is a Olympic judo player uh, by nature. Um, but anyway, hopefully I'll be able to learn some great stuff there. Um, also make a few bit, maybe make a couple of training videos or just maybe interview some of the pro fighters or something like that and put it up. Uh, but in any case, I'll keep you updated. And I just want to let you know. Thanks. Have a great one.